Alrighty, hello. Um, I'm going to give this a try. <laughs> I don't know how successful I'm going to be, but we'll give it a go. 5150, New Beginnings. This is a box of cards uh, that makes life a heck of a lot easier with this game. So if you do, uh, you know, I got this with like a Kickstarter and stuff, I think. Uh, but if you do get this game, and I highly recommend you do get this game, the cards definitely help with the random encounter -y type stuff. We'll put that box over there for now. There's different versions. Uh, there's He's recently, he being Ed from, what is it, Ed TX area. Uh, from Two Hour War Games. Uh, it? Two Hour War Games. Um, and he's got the YouTube channel uh, Ed from THW. It's all like one word. I'll try and link it if I remember. Uh, they make this game. They also make Nuts, which is a really cool game. Um, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, which, outstanding games. I love this. It's 5150 New Beginnings. It's a sci-fi sort of role-playing game. Now, if you've played any of the nut systems and stuff like that, then you'd know that their system is very similar across the board. But the New Beginnings takes um, sort of that system and really expands on it in a way um, that I, I haven't seen any of the others do. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, it, and it really makes it a fun narrative solo play experience so if you don't have any friends like me <laughs> sorry to my friends watching the videos <laughs> uh you know if you if you don't have the time to get with your friends uh like me then this is a game for you there's like a whole bunch of expansions to this um i am gonna start with the basics i really want to do like a proper campaign now i've got the quick play the quick play sort of simplifies a lot of things um you know and and makes everything a lot faster and easier to use um and and cuts down a lot of stuff we might come back to this if this ends up taking too long um but for now i really want to use like i got all these resources i really want to use them and also it's a lot of i find it so much fun um, to to make these make these stories and stuff. Uh, before we get started making a character, what I might do is I'll make one video that kind of just talks about what this what this game is. Um, so basically, what you're going to do is make a character. It's kind of like sci-fi cyberpunky, you know. Um, in 5150 New Beginnings, you're thrust into a bustle, bustling living urban environment hundreds of years in the future. Or maybe it's now, but just a place far, far away. In any case, your goal is to take your character, we call them stars, as far as they can go. Acquire wealth, fight crime, commit crimes, or something in between. It's up to you. Want to play an interplanetary smuggler or a bounty hunter? Yep, you can be that. Want to feel the rush of jacking up your body with the latest technology and running on the edge? Oh yeah, baby, this is the place. And it's your story, so let's get started, right? So, like, it's a sci-fi cyberpunk role play um you know set uh on new hope the planet new hope but if you want to take it into space and make it like a space adventure you can um it's really uh it's such an open system and i absolutely love it i'm not going to read through every section to you but basically the basic system and if you're familiar with any of the two-hour war games it's pretty straightforward there's like three ways of, of rolling the dice right there's like you take it versus your rep you roll 2d6 the number that gets under it's like how many time how many how many successes do you get you count the successes not the actual numbers on the dice um read the result as rolled sometimes you roll it and you need to like read what the actual number was or you know half d6 1d3 we're all very familiar with that uh and then sometimes you've got numbers in parentheses which is like you know uh that it's, it's you know random selection you can play this with like heaps of like aliens and and stuff like that um before we go on if you do end up getting this book like go through and follow the boxes the like the boxes are the way like they, if you just read it it seems confusing but if you go through you do your boxes as you go um, it absolutely, uh, you know, makes things much easier and smoother. Um, they, they're called stop boxes for a reason, right? Um, also, here, I have found them to be very uh, friendly. I found Ed to be very friendly. Uh, I often comment on YouTube videos and get like an answer straight away. Uh, he's got the forums that you can go to. You can email him. Um, I've also emailed him in the past and got like answer straight away as well. So, absolutely, um, 
highly recommend this company for the support alone, but also, you know, simplicity of system. So you're going to make a character. We'll go through making a character in the next video, but I just thought I'd show you. You, you have this, this concept of stars and grunts, which kind of runs through it. And the idea is that, you know, the star is the hero and you kind of get some special abilities that, um, you know, allow you to bend the rules so that your character doesn't end up dead um, straight away and also gives you some free will. Um, but then, like, your grunts... Uh, can be kind of, you know, they're kind of NPCs, AI-controlled-ish, um, and it's it's a bit of a, a different, um, you know, a different sort of feeling for them, and they come and go. Uh, they're a bit weaker. Now, you've got, like, your basic human, which that's what I'm going to play. Like, I'm not too into all the aliens. I think they're cool, and they've all got their own little lore and rules of what they can be. you got these big, chunky graph dudes, which are pretty scary. The Hishin are, like, um, te they're, like, tech... Um, like high tech guys, Razors and Zeogs are um like these exotic xenomorphs, um, and they have like very strict rules about what they are and what they can be. They're all female and and stuff like that. Um, the Zuzu are monkeys in space suits, right? <laughs> Who'd have thought? Um, and then you've got your different classes, and I really like the way they kind of split these classes up. Movers and shakers, you know, like just the name is amazing. Uh, you know, movers are your wealthy people, shakers are the people who want to, you know, call, you know, create sort of, uh, you know, they create, they make things happen. Uh, exotics are like, you know, they're, they're your usual sort of, you know, action hero, sci-fi hero type things. Joes, which I really love, and that's what we're going to be playing as a Joe, um, are just, you know, they're just average Joes. Right? And then your criminal element, which are your crims. Um, and yeah, and if you you can either pick what you want to be, or you can like roll two d six, and then each one of these like has their own sort of um, like subclass, which you can which you can be. <coughs> Excuse me, um, you know, and uh, these so so you know you can go through and and really define your character again as you're making your characters another stop box that explains it you then get your attributes um and they're pretty straightforward you know um they're they're pretty uh like they can be good they can be bad um and as a uh human as a basic uh you know is it basics you get an extra one yeah, I don't know. We'll go through it when we make the characters, but very cool. You make your character up. Now, unlike other um, sort of two-hour war games games, you have these extra skills. So normally you just have rep, which is your reputation, and that's kind of the skill by which everything goes through. In this case, you also have people and savvy as extra skills, um, and that kind of, um, uh, you know, like helps you create... You know, it's like charisma versus, you know, wits, if that makes sense. Um, and the goal of this is to sort of build a lifetime rep, right? Build your lifetime reputation uh, to find out, like, when you retire, are you going to be, like, you know, collecting welfare? Are you going to be living on a pension? Or are you going to be, like, living large, living in your own big mansion, right? And that's kind of, like, your goal is to generate money. Um, and they have, you know, rules for that. Again, the tech, it's not, like, particularly complex. You've got just different levels of armor, different le levels of weaponry, um, and it's and it's pretty straightforward. Generally, I start with, like, nothing. I want to start with nothing and work my way up because that's fun for the story. But if you want to do other stuff, they've got, uh, you know, sort of how, how you can get that in this book, how you can generate that. Um, and here you go. It tells you, like, you know, these are, these are the kinds of things that you're going to have uh, depending upon what your rep is at the start of the game uh, and then obviously at the end of the game like what you have access to as you go through they also have this cool idea of like you can be home uh, like instead of doing your um, you know going out and doing missions and stuff you can be home but there's still a chance that like you're gonna get robbed <laughs> you know and you might get robbed while you're home or maybe you were not home right and if you are home then it becomes like a conflict you get you get to fight them, uh, but if you're not home, then you know they take stuff and and you find out like how how much how badly you got ripped off. You know, um, if you're a big fan of cyberpunk, you can get like you know cyber enhancements and stuff. Again, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna keep this as basic as possible because that means you know less rules for me. If you want to play. Um, sort of uh, like psychic, you know, having psychic powers, kind of if you're into, um, you know, Serenity and you want to be River, 
but there you go. You can make your character like that. Um, and, you know, your NPCs might have that. And then there's rules for like, okay, so eventually you're going to need to have a group. So here's the rules for how, how you can recruit your group, right? Now, and here's where sort of the fun part comes for me is um, you, you, you can just, well, it's not just combat. You can do like skill challenges. You can do NPC challenges uh, and interacting with people. Um, again, net running, if you want to, you know, be a hacker, you want to do that kind of, you know, real cyberpunk stuff, you know, socializing, sweet talking, that kind of, you know, sort of thing. It's all built into the, the system. Um, but then again, if you want to just punch people, that's also an option, right? And they have a very simple system for that, which we will see when we play. And everything is kind of randomly generated. Um, and it looks like a lot of tables, but, and as we'll see, like those tables get very simplified. And if you want a super simple version of that, uh, then, you know, the quick play rules are for you. Um, but if you don't mind getting used to a little bit of tables, this can be good. But if the tables are a problem for you, which it can get overwhelming for my simple monkey Zuzu ADHD brain, um, that's where these cards come in, right? So, like, let's say you're in the financial district uh, and you have to randomly generate a thing. We haven't really got to that point yet, but, right, we, we do the campaigns. The campaigns, you start with, like, a chilling. You can choose if you're doing stuff in the day or the night. Um, and then if it's in the day, then you're more likely to have you know, positive encounters, like you're less likely to have a bad encounter in the day. You know what I mean? Um, and so the campaign, it follows you over the course of 10 years and then kind of each month or whatever it is, each each day you get to, to do stuff, right? <laughs> and um, then you kind of spawn opportunities. So the first one is always like chilling. So let's say like you're in the financial district, you, you don't know where you want to like go. Maybe like, okay, what am I going to do? Maybe I'll go to the bank today, whatever. So here we go. Just says drugstore. Okay. I have to go get my medicine for my ADHD, right? What am I going to find on there? So we, we roll the dice or whatever. We get a number. Um, let's say we get like, a, um, you know, five to seven, an exotic. So whilst we're in the drugstore, we happen to come across an exotic. So we just come to, again, he's got the cards, right? Come to your exotic. You roll your dice. So the dice are on the cards, you know what I mean? Uh, and, and we work out what we get. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it legit to find out what we what we need. All right, so what did we get? We got a seven. So, no, eight. Learn how to read. We got a police officer. Uh-oh, have I done anything wrong? You know what I mean? We flip it over. You roll, um, you know, what you, you roll uh, your, your one half D6. Uh, so in this case, we got a one, so we're going to start at the top, but if we got a two or three, we'd go further down. And then depending upon how many, um, oh, there you go. It tells you like, you know, you get more people, right? So your, your guy starts there and then you go down and you can see like, they've got the different races, the different weapons and their stats on the back of the card. Um, so this police officer, you know, uh, it'd be one less than banned. So for me, it's one, I meet one police officer, maybe they give me a hard time, right? Um, and there you go. That's, that's your random encounter. Maybe we talk to them. Maybe it goes well. Maybe it doesn't. We roll a social thing. You know, he stops me. Am I carrying my weapon? Uh Oh, do I have a license for my weapon? All of a sudden now we've got a bit of a story, you know, all because I went to go and get my medication, right? <laughs> Should a guy with ADHD be carrying a weapon, right? So you get, you know, the, it looks like a lot of tables, but realistically you don't have to stress too much about it you know uh different sections of the city there's like a map of the city which of course my fingers skipped over there's a little map uh there's a bigger map over here but you can see like all the different parts of the city different parts of the city have a different chance to go to different places you know what i mean uh, but yeah you got your map of your city and then depending upon like which area you're in that's the law level that's how likely you are to meet like a criminal or, or like, you know, be safe. And then the encounters, it's got like one at the top, one at the bottom. One of them is the daytime, like how, how likely you are to have an encounter. And one of them is the nighttime. So, you know, like things are less safe in certain areas at night, you know, and in some cases, like much more so like, uh, you know, it's, it's a big difference between a, a two and a five, you know? So uh, yeah, so you start with like a chilling thing and then eventually you'll get like some kind of involuntary encounter and you, you get different things. And one of those things might be a job offer. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just going to have a sip of my... Oh, look at that. There you go. Pepsi. Beautiful Pepsi Max. Thank you very much um, for not sponsoring this video. <laughs> Pepsi, if you want to send me stuff, 
You're my drink of choice. Uh, let me tell who. Th tell me who you fought for in the Cola Wars in the comments below, right? I'm a child of the '80s Cola Wars. I, my, I was on Team Pepsi. My dad worked at Pizza Hut, so <laughs> we had Pepsi everything when I was a kid. Um, which now I think they have Coke. So isn't that funny? Pepsi lost the Cola Wars in Australia, man. Moving on, you might get a job offer, right? Uh, or you know, you might people might try to rob you or whatever. And then those job offers can then kind of like lead to different things. Like, you know, if you end up defending, that might end up becoming into, you know, some other, um, you know, there are reasons why you were attacked. Why were you attacked? So it kind of all builds up. And if you are failing a job, then that is going to lead into a different story arc than another one, right? Escort missions, hauling cargoes, things like this, right? Um, so the idea is that you kind of go through these randomly generated stuff and it ends up building this really massive story. So I had one little run, um, when I first got this and I basically started with a Joe and it was like, uh, okay, my goal is to get a spaceship and get off this rock. I don't want to be a Joe anymore. You know, I want to become like, you know, a smuggler or something. And, um, I, I ended up going on my chilling thing and then I got like a job offer um, which then sent me into, um, basically it sent me to a crime Lord. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. I've been sick. Can you tell? I will definitely cut that out. It sent me to a crime Lord, uh, and I had to do like a, a an errand, a, a run, right? And, um, I did not succeed on my on my delivery it was not taken well because every time you interact right you've got a role like you know, are you are you gonna are people gonna be favorable to you or not so i ended up uh yeah like getting in the bad books with some criminals and i was like uh oh <laughs> we're gonna need some more people you know um and i ended up recruiting some more people and um then uh over time i you know made an enemy of a crime lord and so that's never good you know <laughs> in the long run <laughs> <laughs> but you get these really cool little character stories, and that's what role playing is all about. So, um, five one five zero, I absolutely, um, definitely recommend it. We're going to make a character in the next video uh, and and get things started and set up. My one critique, I understand why it is the way it is because it's got like, in order to have that each one of those locations on that map feel like it is how it should be. You do have to have, um, you do have to have the areas have different, you know, very different feels. Like you can see here, these are all the tables for the different areas that you're in. Um, but if you, here you go, I don't know if we can see, it ends up being a lot of cards, right? Like a lot of piles of cards. Um, and when you can see here on the table, you know, some of them are like kind of lower Gaia, lower hope and polar lower polaristan like they could all be one one card set you know what i mean but there you go whatever um you know and the same for some of the other parts i just feel like they could be together uh in order to sort of minimize the what do we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven separate piles it just feels like a lot of piles to me <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there could be one pile. We, we could be, like, you know, six or less. But that's just my ADD brain, right? And obviously, if you're using the tables, that's not even a problem. So check this out for yourself. Um, and also, there's, like, an expansion called Known Space, where you basically leave the planet and go off and start doing stuff off in space. And um, I've got that book as well, which we'll we'll get into at some point. It's got rules for generating planets and stuff in here, too. And it's got, like, you know heaps of lore, all sorts of stuff, you know, Friday Night Fight option was like, it's got all these expansions, um, you know, that, that come out of it. And, uh, you know, it comes with these, these battle boards, which if, you know, if you buy the print book, you know, that's super handy, it comes with tokens, all that stuff. You can get them, you know, photocopied or whatever. Um, or if you get the digital, you know, obviously you can cut it out, uh, print it out yourself. But yeah, there you go. That's, that's 5150. I highly recommend it. Um, check it out at Two Hour War Games. I'll put the like actual website up on the screen and um, check out their their YouTube as well because their YouTube you know explains a lot of it. They do videos every time they do like a Kickstarter or whatever, um, which which has sort of you know quick explanations of the rules and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I hope 
this sounds cool because we're definitely doing it. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the video when we do do it. Ciao for now.